Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to enable and disable login in SQL Server. So we'll be using two ways to do that, using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface, and second would be T-SQL script. So here's my server. Here's my SQL Server. I'm connected with my SQL Server using a SQL Server Management Studio. So in order to get to the login, you need to uh, connect with the SQL Server instance and then go to the security, expand the security and expand logins. And you will see all the logins and you need to click on the login that um, you're concerned about, whether you wanted to enable or disable. So first we'll be uh, disabling this particular login uh, and we're gonna go ahead and right click on that login, go to the properties. And if you see right here, there's a, um, right here tab is called status so we're gonna go ahead and click on status and uh, you can disable just the login and it still would have permission to connect to a uh, database engine however um, when application or user will try to connect to SQL Server it's gonna mm, uh, give him or her the error that uh, your login is disabled so uh, in order to completely basically uh, uh, disable the login and deny permission to uh, SQL Server instance, you need to click on deny uh, permission to the connect to the database engine and also disable when go ahead and um, uh, disable the login. So click on disable. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And as, as soon as we did that, as you can see right here, this little arrow, red arrow, downward that means that this this particular login is disabled so i'm going to go ahead and uh, show quickly that how to enable a disabled login so we're going to go ahead and click on the same uh, login go to the properties and go to the status again and we're going to go ahead and click grant and click on enable login click ok as you can see that that little uh, red arrow downward arrow has gone away so this log particular login is enabled and this user can go ahead and connect to SQL Server so we're gonna go ahead and use uh, the T SQL script to do the same thing I have script already so we're gonna go ahead and open our script we're gonna go ahead and uh, disable the uh, run the disable login first as you can see that it, it says use master and deny the first thing that we saw in graphic user interface it's a deny connect to SQL server and then after that we're gonna go go ahead and alter the login and make it disabled so I'm going to go ahead and run this script as soon as you execute that we're gonna go back to the login and refresh our login and see if it's disabled as you can see and you can go ahead and click on the properties and go to the status so our uh, T-SQL script worked, it's denied and it's disabled. So we're gonna go ahead and close this and we're gonna load our enabled script now and run that script and hopefully that would enable our login. So as you can see that is uh, granting the access to the SQL Server which is access, deny or grant in graphic user interface and then we're altering our login and enabling it so we're going to go ahead and run this script it's the the command completed successfully all we need to do is refresh the login and see if this red arrow goes away and as you can see that it went away and we're going to go ahead and look at the properties look at the status grant and enabled so basically this is how you uh, enable or disable login in SQL Server keep in mind one thing that I forgot to mention right here that uh, uh, enable or disable login works only on SQL Server authentication if you try to enable or disable a Windows authentication user it's going to give you error because enabling and disabling is uh, Active Directory function. Active Directory admin will do that if you need to have Tech Brother cluster admin or SQL reader. This user or this group needs to be disabled from the SQL Server. It needs to be disabled from Active Directory site or it needs to go ahead. You need to go ahead and delete that. You cannot basically do Windows authentication user enable or disable. Let's let me quickly show you. 
so I'm going to go status I'm gonna go ahead and disable the login I can deny the access however I can deny the access on Windows but I cannot disable the login if I click OK it's going to give me error that you cannot disable the login try to go ahead and deny the access onto the SQL server which is right here uh, I'm going to go ahead and enable grant okay and I'm going to go back and go to the status all I want to do is go ahead and deny access we we still we can't disable this login so we're gonna go ahead and deny the access so this should work easily that means that this the, the this particular group all the users in this particular group will not be able to connect to SQL server so I'm gonna go back and enable the, the status grant I'm granting access to connect to database engine so we're gonna go ahead and click OK so basically this is how you uh, do that I hope this video helps